Publishers? No. Kickstarter? No. No, I am not doing what most people are doing when it comes to making money off of their games. After my upcoming game, Prepare the Past, is finished, I am going to be going the Sock Pop Collective route to make money off of my games. If you don't know who they are or how they make money off of their games, well, you come to the right place. Because today, I'm talking about how I'm going to be using this seemingly underutilized way to make money off of my games. But before we get into it, guys, I want to mention for the like 100th time that I'm on an active journey towards making this studio profitable. I'm sharing everything I'm doing and why I'm doing it here on this channel twice a week. So if you're curious if I can do it or you want to see what not to do, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and join the Discord for active updates about the journey. And last thing, if you want to promote your game that you're making on this channel, join the Discord and leave it in the submissions. I am starting this new thing where I am showing B-roll of people's games that they're making. Just a way to give back to the community. Okay, let's get into it. So, what the heck is a collective and why the heck do I love it so much? Yes, I freaking love the collective idea, but what is it? Well, the Sock Pop Collective is a group of four solo developers that release their games under one umbrella and split the earnings equally. And how they do it is they have a Patreon and each of those four developers picks a month to release their game so that they have a game released every month of the year. And I know what you're thinking, Matthew, that's insane. How do they make and release a game every month? Well, if you think about it, four divided by 12 is three. And so basically you have like four months to make and finish a game. And I also want to mention that these games are not Skyrim, you know, they're actual micro games. Games that are just a little bit more than a, a game jam game would be. So they release those games on a Patreon and then they also release those games on Steam. And they have found a ton of success doing it. Last time I checked their Patreon was bringing in close to 6K a month and um, they released over a hundred games on Steam, one of them being Stacklands, which easily made them over a million bucks. And I know what you're thinking, Matthew, um, okay, so Sog Pop did it, okay, so that doesn't mean it's a, an actual successful route to go. Well, there's a few others. There's uh, one, I think, called Punk Cake that is, you know, relatively successful. And there's another one called Affinity Collective. They're not the only ones that are going this route. But I love the idea so freaking much, and I'm going to get into it now. So why do I love this idea so much? So many reasons, but... Three. First one is it is the best of both worlds when it comes to working with the team and working solo. I I absolutely love working with the team. I always prefer working with the team just because you have the ability naturally to share ideas and, and make the best content you can. But I also love the solo route because I want to bring my ideas to life. I want to tell my stories. And what a collective allows you to do is work with other people really closely but make your own ideas come to life. And in a collective setting, you know, you kind of help each other out where you need it, and it's like an all ships rising scenario. And so that's number one. I, I freaking love the idea of both working solo and on a team. What's my second favorite point of this? My second favorite is the exponential growth that happens. You're releasing games at an astronomical rate. You're releasing a ton of games. And like I said, you know, Sock Pop has released over hundred games, you know? And so you're growing as a developer super fast. You know, I've been working on Prepare the Past now for uh, like eight months, you know? And you know, if I had been in a collective in that, I'm sure I would have got done faster because I would have had people to help me. But in a collective scenario, that's happening all the time. And not only are people helping you, you get to help other people. And what's the best way to learn? By teaching. And you, you help each other and it's just this amazing environment of growth because I know uh, the first thing I thought was, wow, I can never make a game that fast. But if you're constantly in the process of making new projects, you're going to get better at it. And the games you originally make for the collective are probably not gonna be very good. But you know, your third, fourth, or fifth game is probably gonna be way better. And I know what you're thinking, wow, you know, a fifth game, that's years down the line, but in a collective, it's only a, you know, it's only like your third or second rotation, you know? So you're constantly getting better. You're constantly learning and growing as a developer. And I just love it. And my third favorite thing is, this might sound a little stingy or whatever, but is the financial aspect of it. And I know people are like, oh, this could get really hairy and it absolutely could. But the fact that everybody shares their earnings creates like this stability where, okay, if you are releasing games consistently and you're 
you're, you're always throwing the net out. Every month you have a new game. And the people who really love your games, they're gonna sign up for the Patreon. But the people that don't still have the opportunity to buy the game on Steam. So you're just casting this huge net of potential buyers out all the time. And that is just a no brainer to me. A no brainer to me. And I, I wanna say one more thing. I thought that it would take years to create games and you know, the chance of releasing a game that actually makes money is just so low. Even if you create an amazing game, there's so many different moving parts to it. But with a collective releasing games so often, that chance of hitting, you know, getting one that is really successful goes up dramatically because in a year you've released 12 games. You have released, you've had 12 chances to make a hit game instead of one every two years. The the odds are absolutely in your favor in a collective scenario. So I love the idea so much. So those those are the three main things that I, I absolutely love about the idea. Now there's a few things that could get in the way of a collective really flourishing. And the number one thing is creating the right team. That is the number one, that is the, the, the kryptonite of the collective idea. You need to create a solid team. If you don't have a solid team, you know, and your game pops off and you suddenly have to share a million dollars with everybody, that doesn't feel very good. But on the flip side of it, if your buddy made a million bucks and you're like, hey, uh, pay up, you know, it's just, it's, ugh. but everybody's in the same boat and everybody needs to know that, okay, one of us might pop off. And that's a great thing, you know, and, and, it, and it thrives off of the trust built within the collective. So that is the one, if you need a good team and if you don't have a good team, it could just shatter and lose friendships and get very ugly very fast. And I recognize that. But what is my plan actually? What is my plan in implementing this into, you know, the studio? After Prepare the Past is finished, when it is released, December 1st, that is the release date for Prepare the Past. I am going to start preparations for building a collective. And I'm not going to be reinventing the wheel. I'm going to try again to find three or four developers that I super trust, that I believe in, and, and that I believe in their skills to make good games quickly. And I'm gonna get them together and we're going to start the collective. Uh, again, I'm not reinventing the wheel, kind of just going the sock pop route. Um, and I, I have a few developers in mind. Um, if you want to join the collective, join the Discord and start talking to me. But like the other things I mentioned in this, you know, the three pillars I was talking about in the previous video, this collective is just, it makes so much sense for what I'm trying to do because it is going to build a strong community as well as enormous opportunity for people to get really invested in what the collective is trying to do. It just, it creates so much value. There's so much value in, in what a collective brings. And mm, it's just so exciting. And I hope that, you know, the, the, this YouTube channel could be the voice of the collective, allowing the fans to kind of have a back seat into what it looks like to start a collective and use this underutilized way of making money off of your game. But yeah, I'm so stoked about the idea. And I, it, it's literally so perfect for me because I love G game jam games. I never wanted to make a big game. I have big ideas, but I never really had the desire to make a game that would take me four years to make. I always have wanted to make small games with good stories and a good loop. That's all I want to do. That is the type of games I want to make and I want to make them with people. And the collective is such a freaking good idea to do that. So guys, if you want to join the collective, if you want to like build a collective yourself, join the discord, please. Um, start talking to me if you want to, you know, do this thing with me. I can't promise anything. I don't promise anything, but I'm just, I'm just looking for other developers who want to do something similar to this. Again, I have people in mind, but guys, it's such a, mm, it's such a good idea. I, I love it so much. I talk about it all the time on my live streams. It is what it is, but guys, that's how I'm going to make money off of my games. That is the plan. I'm not using a publisher. I, well, I guess I kind of am creating a publisher by a collective, but I'm not going the typical publisher route. I'm not doing Kickstarter. I'm going to do this. And I really think there is a high possibility for huge rewards in it. Okay. That's the end of this video. I could go on and on and on. I talk about it all the time. My live streams, uh, join the live streams if you want to talk more about it. But uh, guys, if you want more info, if you want to learn more about what I'm doing here, join the discord. If you want to be rolling these videos, join the discord. I'd love to chat with you there. Okay. Okay guys.
I gotta go. Um, but I'll see you next time, guys. See ya.